And finally, last up for this very long Howler for now for the Switch is the last Switch review key I currently have. Ghost Blade HD. Do you guys like shoot 'em ups? I like shoot 'em ups. I actually like shoot 'em ups quite a bit. What is Yoko? Oh, I see. Tate's in. Tate's. Yoko. Okay. I'll do Yoko. This is fine by me. How's the volume, by the way? Is it good or should I raise it up a bit? Let me know, stream goers. Volume's good. Let's start. Which sexy lady do we want to be? Hmm. What if I want to be a guy? <laughs> I will pick the red and the red and blue shoe because it reminds me of something. Reminds me of another shoe up. I will do normal. I like a good shoot 'em up now and then. Admittedly, I'm really talented with some shoot 'em ups while really not talented with others. Depends. Ghost installed. Okay, that's my. Uh, that, that happened to be. All right, I guess no tutorial for me. I just get to hop right into it. I found my power button, so. Right. I mean, we're getting right in the thick of it. Why not? Hold on a minute. Oh, you know, I just noticed something. There's something interesting about this game. If I don't shoot, I move faster. Okay, so red bullets, evil, everything else, go ahead and pick it up. Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, those are in the background. Okay, I was worried there. I thought I was having ships approaching from behind and they collided me. But no, it's not that dangerous. Jeez, the power-ups are bigger than the enemies sometimes. I feel like these power-ups might be slightly excessive. Ah, oh, bugger. You know, I can move fast if I don't shoot, but if I don't shoot, I'm not killing things, so... It's problematic, that. Oh, what we got? Oh. Destroy the side pods first, that's what I do. You know, there's a surprising lack of sound effects. I mean, they're there, but not in heavy amounts. Alright, I didn't do very well that level, but that's alright. Good night, Hyper. I'm surprised you're still up, actually. I thought you went to bed earlier. Look at that, dude. Sessions on Mars. Destroy all the Mars rovers. Fuck them. Level link feels oh, pretty good overall. Also, I'm noticing it's one of those shoot 'em ups that I don't know what you call this, but it's, if there's an enemy shooting a lot of bullets and then they die, their bullets turn into power ups. I've seen some shoot 'em ups do this. It's actually very old school. I appreciate it though. Basically means that if you go on the offensive, you can survive an attack that would otherwise be unavoidable. It's very handy. I'd admit all the power fly at me does kind of break my brain a bit, but I'm glad the enemy bolts are always either green or pink from the looks of it anyways. Admittedly though, there are some power-ups that have a green hint to them. These these things going into me right now. Oh shit. They're technically they're technically also green, kind of, so it's it's a little kind of confusing, but 
I I will win. I, I kind of wish the power-ups were not so br bright, I guess. It's hard to say. But overall, I'm still able to focus on what I'm dodging, so it's not too bad. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 I killed it, though. That's right. I wonder if this is one of those games that lets me have continues or not. I wonder. Probably on easy. It feels very old school, though. Not in a bad way, either. Wow, okay, that helicopter was very aggressive. In a bad way. I'm glad I get the powers back. So, when, you, when I die, I do lose my powers, but they recover very quickly, so... I mean, they, they usually immediately give me powers to collect, so it's not so bad. Also, because of the way the power-ups uh, spawn from the enemy projectiles when, they, when the bigger enemies die, uh, it does kind of encourage me to fly head-on into giant enemy ships. Because that actually is a viable strategy. Because, I mean, look at all this evil bullets that exist if I don't. So this game basically is really encouraging aggression. Interesting. Ooh, I... I put myself in a bad spot, and yeah, I'll continue for now. See how far we get, honestly. I hope. Boss just forgot to attack for a while, that was weird. So this is kind of a bullet hell. It's not... It is a bullet hell. It's not as bad as some bullet hells, though. Damn it! Right, that was embarrassing. Oh yeah, I have bombs. I keep forgetting about that. I don't know what it is with me, but shoot them to me. I get along well with the main guns, but I never remember my temporary bombs. It's not quite Toho. It's not as bad as Toho. Toho annoys me way more, but I do admit, though, this is a bit too bullet helly for me. I, I, here's the thing. I'm not a wuss. I can deal with a lot of bullets, but it's how they're kind of set up that makes or breaks it for me. And basically, it's just... In a lot of bullet hells, it hurts my eyes. That's the main problem. It's not so much my reflexes that suffer, it's my eyes. And I mean, if you look at this screen right now, there's a... Oh, I didn't even see that bullet. There's just... I don't like it when there's a hell of a lot going on. I like it when... I like my shoot ups to be nice and concise about what I'm avoiding. This game is not very concise because there's just too many things. I mean, when power-ups are flying into me, I'm getting desensitized. Okay, you know what? Oh, that, that bomb did nothing. Okay. That bomb is not a screen clear. It just clears a little area around me. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm really sick of the constant V bolts coming at me. Great. The hell? Okay. Twenty platforms. All right. I can't kill the V-ships, they're, they're a problem. I need to let go of the attack now and then, though. The idea is to let go of the attack just here and there. Just, like, here and there so you can... So you can dodge around shit. That's what the idea is behind the design choice. Well, I mean, I killed that, but alright, sure. I hate when I get killed by a projectile that I literally just turn into a power-up. Yeah, this game is, uh... I don't know, man. This is definitely up somebody's alley, this game. I 
don't think I'm incompetent when it comes to shield, so I'm not a big on um, over bullet hells. Overly bullet hellish ones. Again, I don't mind if I have a really hard as nails uh, shoot em up. For instance, good example Hydra. You guys remember Hydra? That's a really hard game, but it's very concise about where the bolts are going. I played Hydra, you don't remember? Orgasmic Stride? Yeah, that was the name of the level now that you mentioned it. Why did I go into the bolt? Charm, what are we doing? What is that? Ooh, oh. Yeah, this is definitely a bullet hell at this point, though. I'm not seeing this with the boss fights. They definitely hit bullet hell realms, unfortunately. Well, at least I got through three stages. To me, I, I feel like bullet hell design is really just a... It, it, it's, it disbalances the difference between aggression and defense. Which, every shoot 'em up has a good balance between aggressive and defense, generally. Thwarted Democracy is this level's name. Alright. And what I mean by that is that in a shoot 'em up, you're typically accept. You're, you're the definition of a glass cannon. And if you've seen how I like to build characters in some games where I'm allowed to, to choose how much HP and stuff I have, you may notice I build towards glass cannons anyways. It's part of the reason I like shoot 'em ups. I like the idea that I can be this really quick, powerful thing, but if I take a hit, I'm dead. It's a good risk first reward. I like it a lot. Okay, well, I guess I'm dead. Ghost already play with Ghost Ship. Okay. Is there a mode that doesn't involve... Well, let's see what Easy Mode does. Let's see what Easy Mode does. Was I there? For Hydra? I feel like he might have been. Oh, I'm... Who cast? What does who cast mean? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's see. What's score attack? Score attack might let me go through the levels without, uh, continues, possibly. Let's see. I'm not really sure, but worth checking. Oh, it's its own little... You know what, actually, hold on. Alright, let's see what easy does. Let's see how easy changes things. Is, is easy a more... Uh, casual's not the right word. Experience. Ghost installed. Yep, it's back. We're back to ghost installed. I have very little shame, honestly. I don't mind playing in easy mode. I have a feeling it's probably going to be more comfortable difficulty. For me, at least, I mean. And see, instead of... Here's here's how I like out of my shoot em, shoot em ups. It's not that I don't like difficulty. It's... When it comes to bullet hells, the difficulty is there's five million bullets covering the screen and you gotta dodge around them. In the shoot em ups I like, it's not five million bullets, it's it's a small number of really deadly bullets. You know what I mean? Less but more dangerous bullets. That's my thing. That's that's feels much more surmountable. Without actually be it, I feel like the difficulty is similar. I guess it's not as hard, I suppose, but bullet hells are hard in a weird way. So I'm not even sure how I define it. But see, here's the problem with this bullet hell. There's so much going on without any breaks that I can't actually see what I'm shooting a lot of times. I just have to... I ha I'm on the defensive so hard I can't really pay attention to what I'm shooting. It's actually kind of infuriating. Oh, I see. Um, in this mode, I have a health bar. So 
So I could take a... Please stage run. Yeah, I didn't... I took a hit, but I, I didn't die, and it, it activated a bomb. I also have more lives, I guess, I think. Maybe. But yeah, when, when you look at a bullet hell, there's, there's an art to it, but the art is all about focusing on your ship. Here's the thing. Here's a big difference between a shoot, normal shoot em up and a bullet hell. A normal shoot em up, you're looking at the whole screen, not just your ship. You're also considering your attack opportunities. You're considering how, how to maneuver. You're usually dealing with level design that... Oh, that's another thing. Bullet hells generally do not have level design. They're usually just a screen. There's no dodging around environmental obstacles and stuff in, in most bullet hells that I've seen. Um, but anyways, the difference between a bullet hell and a shoot em up is very simply... A normal a bullet hell has you focusing on your ship and the bolts coming at you. While a shoot 'em up has you focusing across the entire screen, both watching your ship at times, but also finding the opportunities to watch other parts of the screen and consider your opportunities elsewhere. If that makes any sense. So in other words. Shoot 'em ups are a lot more. I don't know. I'm literally just looking at my ship, guys. For the most part, I'm occasionally darting up to see what's ahead, but I don't really have time for that. And that, to me, is a lot. It's not very interesting. It's like we got all these interesting enemies. I can't look at them. I really can't enjoy their designs and enjoy the level design because I'm looking at my ship. I'm kind of like looking at the general shapes of enemies to kind of know where to shoot. But I can't look at them. I can, I can, I can only like ex halfway examine, and that's not very fun, in my book. Easy mode is definitely better. Even on easy mode, though, I still am not really paying attention to the environment too much. Because the moment I start looking at ships, that's usually when I get hit. Because there's a bullet. There's yet another bullet I missed because there's too many bullets on screen, so there's always a bullet I'm gonna miss. If I if I don't if I don't keep pay attention to my ship, I'm going to regret it. Well that was a really cool dodge I did there actually. <laughs> Actually, that's another thing. This game is a good example of World Hell also because it doesn't really give you much of a break if you notice. A, a good shoot em up also has moments of peace, like between waves and stuff. Maybe during a cool transition of areas or such. And that gives you a chance to take a breath. This game doesn't really give you that chance. And more famous shoot em ups like, or more famous World Hells like Domes don't really do that either. I like, I guess I like a little bit of atmosphere to my shoot em ups. You know, a little bit. Of, a little bit of uh, world building in the sense of like, you know, having these moments where you're just enjoying the background and such. So, what do you feel about this game? Not bombs. I was gonna use a bomb, but I realized that's not bombs. Oh, I'm having slowdown. That's weird. Now, see, I'm capable of dodging around complex bolt patterns. I'm demonstrating this right now. Until my brain glosses over and I mess up. Happens sometimes. I'm using bombs and cheeses a bit. There we go. So you feel like this game tried to be both... You tried to fill this game was both doing with bullet hell and normal shoot up of strategies? You feel, Selena? Anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's not fun to constantly be under fire and shoot up. Oh, that's another thing! Part of the, the shoot 'em side generally like also kind of essentially reward good play by giving you those breaks. Like sometimes 
you know, the game has breaks anyways. Okay, I'm, I'm already, I'm kind of getting forward here. Alright, hold on. Yeah, it's just, I constantly am just thinking to myself, oh my god, enemies, just let up for a second. Please? Like, can I have a small break? But yeah, uh, a lot of times a good shoot 'em up where if you're playing really well and you take out the enemy size and efficiently, you generate your own breaks. You have this night, you have reprieves because of the fact that you've been so efficiently killing things, basically. And that's very satisfying, I feel. Because you earn your breaks. There's no way to earn bombs at the level, it's just when you die, you get the back, basically. Well, finally got me, man. Ghostblade HD. I wonder if this is like a remastering then? It's ironic because the bosses actually feel more fair than the levels. So far anyways. It's not even really... I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking a lot of shit, but honestly this is not a bad game or anything. It's just... yeah. It knows what it wants to be, I suppose. Got the lead. I appreciate the bosses give you a moment to recover, actually. By the way, you see how my ship has a little white circle in it? That is the hitbox. If that gets hit, you die. This is a common thing with bullet hells. Where your 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 ship sprite is not your hitbox. It is the center of your ship sprite that is the hitbox. That's a common thing with not only normal not only with World Hells, but it also happens with shoot 'em up sometimes. Depends on the shoot 'em up. Uh but that's a common thing with bullet hells. The fact that your hitbox is actually really tiny. That's supposed to make up for the fact that there's so many bullets and you have to slip between really thin patterns. But in my opinion, it just makes it more confusing. Because now all of a sudden, not only... I can't just quickly examine my sprite and say, Oh, that's my hitbox. I have to go like, no. No, it's not. It's it's this little dot here. And that's just it's kind of annoying in my book. It's, it's, a, it's a tradition. That's a very normal staple for shoot-em ups. By, or not shoot-em ups, bullet hells. I've never been a big fan of it. It's just another, it's a small detail I can't really pay attention to. So it's it's something I have to like reflexively get used to, I guess, but I don't know. I blundered right into that. Oh well. Well, we might be able to see the easy mode ending, which is probably not going to show all the stages or whatever, but that's right. I don't appreciate that. Did I lose all my health? What happened there? I used my bomb, what? That's not, that's not fair. Also, I guess an easy mode my health does slowly regenerate, from the looks of it.
Music's not bad. <coughs> I'm just occasionally using a bomb because I think I'm gonna get dead. The bomb is not instant though. The bomb takes a second. Which is a kind of a shame, actually. If I'm about to die, it's best to use my bombs though, because they replenish, so. Definitely playing better. But yeah, I just keep thinking in the back of my mind, it'd be really great if the enemy stopped attacking for a second. It's not like I want, it really, I just, the breathers and, and a good shoot em up are nice. I'm a big fan of shoot em ups, but I'm not a big fan of bullet hells. It's a very interesting divide for me. Okay, just gonna do that. So here we have cannon on track. What's weird is I've seen this thing before. All right, I've seen this type of enemy before. All right, that's not too bad. I, I'm fairly sure that didn't actually hit my uh, hitbox. I was watching my dot there, and I did not did not see my dot get hit. How odd. I could do about the dubstep between level transitions, too. <laughs> Well, the rest of the music's pretty good, though. Just like main bullet hell I games before we play the arena, one metro and now cart racer. Oh god, okay. I didn't even have a second there. All right. I'm in the Matrix now. Good. Maybe it's just because I'm old. Actually, that might be part of partially it. I mean, I'm not super old, but I'm, you know, I'm over 30 now, so... Uh, I wonder if it's really just my eyes. Like, my main problem, the big, like, the biggest thing about Bullet Hells is just, there's just too much going on, it hurts my eyes. And that really feels like an old man problem, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you kids and your, your fast-paced video games of... Just always so much noise on the screen. I don't even know how you guys even keep track of all that. <laughs> I don't know. The sonic recollecting sound confuses my brain too. Back in my day, we had like 16 bits to work with. We didn't have all this craziness. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, what the fuck is all this shit up? Okay, uh, stop, stop everything for a minute. Okay. So, sorry, I'm just like annoyed. That was a fast boss. That was actually, we got to the boss really fast that time. Did it. Destroy it. You could do it. Destroy all cannons. I did destroy all cannons. Yes. Nope. Oh, I find Mother Brain, I think. I, I don't know why. Oh, fuck. 
Like, that just hurts my eyes, yo. Come on. Stop it. Just stop it. How the fuck am I supposed to dodge all this shit? I just am, yo. I just am supposed to. That's more- this is much more re this is a pattern that I can understand. This is a good pattern here for this one. It's still hard, but it's not as bad. Evil She-Ra down, okay. Flash games. Yeah, I thought so. Thanks for playing, now try normal. <laughs> Typical fashion. If you play easy in a shoot 'em up, expect not to complete the game. But you know, I just wanted to—I actually wanted to see it with slightly less insanity. Honestly, oh, what's this? I got myself some credits. Whatever. <clears throat> I feel bullet hells do not have good pacing. Some people really enjoy them, though. There are, can be exceptions, though. Of course, there's always an exception to anything. Charm, what have you done? I'm stuck with an image of you on the porch of a walking cane, a walking cane and a rocking chair when you're just nearly falling out yelling at kids. At least old dogs are still cute. You know, a good, good gray muzzle pup. So, I don't know how many of you guys are actually into Bullet Hells, but what would you rate this game from what you've seen of it? Out of 10, give me a score. I'm kind of curious what you guys would judge this. As somebody who likes shoot 'em ups, this is alright. I mean, but honestly, actually, that's another thing. Oddly enough, because of the Bullet Hells focus on just spewing tons of bullets at you, it kind of robs everything of its identity. You know what I mean? You don't have, oh, this enemy does this, like, swoop attack and then, like, does a side thing. No, it's just, it shoots a lot of bolts. It's not like, that enemy, it shoots a lot of bolts. That boss, it shoots a lot of bolts. That boss over there, it also shoots a lot of bolts. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't give any enemy or boss much personality. Meanwhile, in Super Hydra, I'm attacking this thing, rolling, a tank rolling around on the ground, shooting a rel can at me, I destroy the rel can, and a fucking fleshy head pops out and starts spitting spit at me. That's personality. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet hells are here to test your reflexes, but not much. They don't give you much else, really. They give you a hard reflex focus testing experience, but they usually lack in the sense of story, design, personality. Etc. I haven't seen a bullet hell prove me wrong. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure they are. But I haven't found a compelling bullet hell. Beyond just the fact that I don't like bullet hell design, I haven't found one that's compelling beyond that either. How long is this credits? Oh, I can speed it up. Was this uh was this Kickstarter backers? I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, Charm, if you want to try your formula on Bullet Hell, that rates 9 and 10, try it. I have tried Enter the Gungeon. I find it too Bullet Helly, but it definitely has personality. So I definitely give it credit, even if I don't like it. It's still not too bad. Um. I'm kind of curious about something. I want to look at leaderboards because it'll give me a clue to something. Not this leaderboard. I mean, like, 
Lawn line leaderboard. Is that not a thing? Maybe not. <laughs> Two player, I can play a Varagon. Except for I won't, because... You know what? Oh, trade mode. Oh, I can choose levels I've already gone to. Okay. Given the layout of this, I would- I presume that this game might have up to 10 levels. Hmm. Well, regardless, that is gonna do it for me. I've had certainly my fill of having non-stop bullets flung at my face, so that was Ghost Blade HD. If you're into bullet hells, it might be up your alley. It's not- certainly not bad or anything. It's well made. Controls well. Just... you know. It's not my cup of tea. If it is yours, maybe check it out.